Welcome to my presentation about the MBS FileMaker plugin. My name is Christian Schmitz and I am the main developer of the MBS plugin. The MBS plugin is in development since 2006 and that makes it now 14 years old. Over the time we got functions for everyone so currently we have 6200 functions in the plugin and we just added 280 new this year already. Please check out the 500 example databases coming with the plugin as many databases may give you an example on how to use the plugin functions and you may just copy and paste some scripts to your solution to get something done. The MBS FileMaker plugin comes as one plugin file. It's much easier for us to just deliver you the MBS plugin instead of making a hundred different little plugins and manage them all. Only the used parts are actually loaded in memory and are active. So while the plugin is a few megabytes big, it doesn't get loaded completely and only the parts you activate are actually doing something. The plugin is easy to install and update and we highly recommend you check out the install plugin file script step in FileMaker. And we have a nice database and the examples called install plugin update if needed, which checks if the current plugin is older than the one in the database and then automatically invokes this install plugin file script step to install the newer plugin. This is very handy if you have 100 computers with FileMaker Pro and you want to keep them all up to date. We support older FileMaker versions and technically we can still run on FileMaker 7 on Windows or FileMaker 8.5 on MacOS, but you will hardly find anyone still using those. Most of our customers are on FileMaker's current versions from the last one, two years, and there are already a couple of them using FileMaker 19. You can still download the older plugins on our website or use the current plugin with older FileMaker versions. Speaking of FileMaker versions supported, you can use our plugin on the desktop on MacOS and Windows in FileMaker Pro. You can use it on the server and if you install it on the server, there's one installation folder for perform script on server and scheduled scripts and a second folder where you install the plugin for WebDirect. Our MBS plugin works on MacOS, Windows and Linux. So if you get one of those new FileMaker 19 Linux servers, you can try it there. We support the FileMaker Cloud for AWS where you can install the Linux version of our plugin and use it on your AWS server. The new cloud is a different thing and is not supported by the plugins currently, but you can use the plugin for the FileMaker iOS SDK. So if you want to use the MBS plugin on iOS, you build your own FileMaker iOS app and there you embed the plugin so you can code sign the plugin and the app and distribute both to your customers via MDM or the App Store. For FileMaker Go or Data API, please use Perform Script on Server to let the plugin do its work on the server. We do have a nice example where we create barcodes on the server from FileMaker Go using perform script on server and passing the request as JSON back to the server. And the script is written universally, so you can just use it on FileMaker Pro, on FileMaker Server or FileMaker Go and it will either use the local plugin to create the barcode or it will ask the server to create the barcode for you. The MBS FileMaker plugin provides one central function called MBS to the calculation engine in FileMaker. And we also have one MBS script step, which you can use for scripts if you don't like to use the set variable or set field script steps for that. We decided when we started the plugin that 
it's better to have one function instead of registering hundreds of functions to the calculation engine. And for all the calls to the MBS functions, the first parameter is the actual function name. So within the plugin, we keep a table of all the functions and the names so we can dispatch your call to the right function within the plugin. And as this parameter with the function name can come from a calculated field, you can dynamically decide which function to call. Please check for errors. All functions may return an error and we internally set a error flag for each script. So if a script sets this flag, you can check in the next line for the error state and this works even on the server with several scripts running in parallel. Also, please always check the error messages the plugin functions return because they may give you a clue on where the problem is. Our functions use a lot of reference parameters, so we have a lot of functions which work on an existing object in memory. That could be a JSON object, some XML in memory, or an open picture. You may get a reference number from one function, then pass it to a few other functions to work on this and later release your object. For example here we have json.pass which gives you a JSON reference number, then you can call the JSON format function to format it, maybe call other functions and finally call JSON release to release the object from memory. Today we want to give you a little overview about our plugin. We do not want to list all the features or all the topics because there are so many things and every developer just uses a handful of functions and we want to present you the list of highlights so you can decide what things you may want to look into. Let's start with curl. Curl is an open source library which not just drives the insert from URL script step in FileMaker but also is heavily used in our plugin. Using Curl we can do HTTP and FTP transfers, up and download files, we can do all the different encryption things for SSL, so you can provide your own client side certificates or the root certificates to test against. We have got proxy support and support a lot of authentication schemes. The transfers can not just run synchronously like with insert from URL but also asynchronously or in the background which allows you to run parallel transfers to get more throughput through the network. We support custom FTP commands so you can for example list files in a directory delete files, rename files, or create directories. But other FTP commands can also be sent. We have a couple of examples for various web services with SOAP and REST, where also our JSON and XML functions are very handy. For all the requests you can include custom header fields, so you can provide whatever authentication or other header is needed to your web service. And if you have a website providing a form, you may be able to send the form data without using a web viewer using our curl functions related to form fields. Curl is also great to send and receive emails. And our MBS plugin comes built in with functions to send emails. We probably encode the email and include inline graphics if you want. You can have several attachments, you can include HTML, and we have a nice example to batch send a lot of emails with parallel transfers and reusing connections to get even more emails sent out in a short time. You can receive emails via IMAP and POP3. The MBS plugin comes with an email parser so we can extract the subjects, the recipients, the text, HTML, and attachments. 
We can also run custom IMAP commands to delete an email or to move it into an archive folder. And we have a nice example database called IMAP email, which shows you how to load the list of emails and then load individual emails and even preview them with showing the inline graphics in the web viewer. Next we have a lot of PDF functions on the MBS plugin and they are PDF kit functions which work on macOS and iOS using the frameworks provided by Apple. Then we also have cross-platform functions for macOS, iOS, Windows and Linux using the Dyna PDF library. Well that needs an extra license from us. Both can split and merge PDFs Render pictures from pages, so you can show them in WebDirect, for example, without relying on a browser plugin. You can send a PDF to a printer with or without a dialog. And you can extract the text from a PDF, so you can later search it. And if needed, you can merge the PDFs and add extra blank pages or pages based on an image. With Dyna PDF, you can create PDF files from scratch, design your own pages without referring to a FileMaker layout. You can also edit a page where you import an existing PDF page and change the text or add some additional text. You can merge PDF pages by picking some pages from here and some pages from there. You can render a page as a picture and then display it in a normal container, so the user has no way to download the PDF file, like with a normal interactive container. Then we can convert existing PDF documents to PDFA or PDFX formats. We can embed files as attachments within the PDF files. And this is used to embed XML documents for invoices for the Sugfert standard or the Factor X standard. If you need to provide electronic invoices in this PDF format with embedded XML, you can do that with Dyna PDF. We can also encrypt PDFs with a password. We can limit the access of the user to the PDF, like not allowing printing. And we can digitally sign a PDF file using a private key so the user can later verify that the file is not modified. And recently we added the functions for a signature control, so you can actually show on the PDF file that this file is digital signed and the signature is still valid with this green check mark. If you build PDF pages from scratch using our plugin, you can use our table functions to do your layouts and have a table we output over several pages if it's more than one page of content. We have a nice invoices example for this, which shows you how to lay out an invoice using our table functions. Next, you can create and set form fields. So, for example, you take an existing PDF, you create it maybe with FileMaker, then you open it with Dyna PDF, you add a few form fields. You put in some text in the form fields, send it to the client, let the client change the fields in the, in the PDF viewer, send you back the PDF with the modifications, and then you can open the PDF file and query the values from the modified PDF and update your record. And for that I recommend to put your ID like the, the record ID in a hidden field, which you can later query, but the user doesn't see it. Also, you can extract text uh, from a PDF, like text within a certain rect angel. So if you know the invoice number is always on the same spot, you can just extract the text in that little rect angel. You can also replace text, so you can take a template PDF and just replace the text with the new text you need, as well as with images where you can not just extract the images but also replace an existing placeholder picture in a PDF page with a new picture. 
If needed, you can use Dynapedia functions to modify your pages for adding, for example, page numbers or put a name on every page. You can add links, so your website URLs on the pages are actually clickable and will redirect you to the website. Or you can use uh, links within the document to jump to a certain page from your index page. And you can add bookmarks, so you can give your PDF a structure where the user can navigate through the document based on existing bookmarks for chapters. Here's a sample screen where we show you various examples running on different platforms. So we have on the top left an example where we let the user put points on a page. Then we have the comparison example in the top middle where we show the differences between two versions of a PDF and we see that some text changed. On the top right is our invoice example, which takes records in FileMaker to create an invoice based on a template. On the bottom right we have the example for WebDirect, where we um, show a customized PDF for every user. Every user seeing the PDF gets their own version with the name print on, as well as uh, page numbers. And this also works on the desktop, of course. And then we have an example where we add a um, watermark saying buy the document over a page. Then we have an example on iOS where we highlight the search results within a page by adding highlights to the word in the page using Dana PDF. This also works on other platforms, of course. And the next screenshot is from Windows, where we just add page numbers to an existing document. But as you see, you can use the DynaPDF functions on all platforms and create PDFs dynamically using the scripts. DynaPDF can be used to optimize a PDF file. We can recreate the structure, which may fix any errors in the PDF documents, and some of our customers use this for every PDF they get to make sure all the PDFs are correct and they may also fix any PDF going out. This is very good to scale down images and convert them internally to the JPEG representation. Like you may have users putting in big pictures made with their iPhone into a container and then you have a picture with maybe 20 megapixels you put it in a container on a layout, you print the layout and you get a 500 dpi picture because, well, the 20 megapixel picture is used for a small thumbnail on the page and you may want to reduce that to maybe only 150 dpi, which may be enough for emailing and uh, printing. You can rep replace duplicate fonts in the PDF document with References. So if you merged two PDFs and they use the same fonts, we can save a bit of space there. And the same works with images, where merged document with logos on several pages would just replace them with references. So the image is only stored once in the whole PDF. We can also remove private data. For example, if you output a PDF with InDesign, you often have additional metadata on the PDF which is needed for InDesign to edit the PDF document, but you don't need to pass those along to your customers. If needed, we can also convert pictures in the PDF file to a different color space like grayscale, RGB or CMYK, which may help if you have to pass this PDF to a printer shop and they want you to provide all in CMYK, for example. Then we have a lot of functions related to encryption and hashing in the MBS plugin. So if you need elliptic curve digital signatures, for example, for the receipt printing in Austria or Germany, you may need to encrypt a hash with um, elliptic curves. You can do that with the MBS plugin. If you need RSA signatures, 
You can also do that with our plugin as well as AES or Blowfish encryption. We have uh, hash algorithms available and we can of course encrypt and hash anything you need. Like we can directly hash um, data in a container, you can take it from a file or we can just pass in text for your encryption or hash functions. If you need to use hash message authentication code or you need a password based key derivation function, you can also get that in our plugin as well as JSON web tokens based on hashes or RSA signatures. If you like to use data structures with the MBS plugin, we have a couple of things for you. For example, we have global variables and those are independent of the file they are used within and of course independent of who is using them. So in FileMaker Pro, if you set a global variable with the MBS plugin in one file, you can later query it in a different file. For FileMaker Server, this means that one script running on the server can set a global variable and later a different script run by a different user can query the variable. For example, you can use global variables to manage a list of users logged into your solution. With Dictionary, you have a way to store an associative array in memory where you can store any value using keys. And as we preserve the data type, you can store a container and later get it back as a container. Same for dates or numbers, and as we do not convert everything to text internally. This may be very handy for a lookup in memory, where you can just load all the UIDs you use with a display name, and at any point in your database, just query the display name for a given UID. Same for zip codes to show city names. With QuickList we have a way to store a list indexed in memory so you can access it much quicker than by using get value, as well as doing operations on the list without passing the list around. So you create a QuickList, you get back a number for it, then you can call operations on it like sorting or adding values based on a SQL statement and later you can query the list as text and release it from memory. This is much faster than passing the list around all the time. Then we have Matrix which provides a two-dimensional array where you can also store and retrieve values as needed and we preserve the data type. With Continuity Camera we have a nice feature for your Mac-based solutions, where you can use a nearby iOS device to take pictures and get them into your solution. So you can offer the user a button to take a picture, then a nearby iOS device will show the camera screen, you take a picture, the picture is analyzed, and as you see here on, on our slide, there's a yellow highlighting of the recognized document, then the document is rectified and can be transferred directly into a container of your solution on the Mac. For scanning several pages of a document, you can get them as a PDF. The same thing can be used on iOS. So if you have an iOS app with the FileMaker iOS SDK, you can use the MBS functions for document scanning and get several documents into container fields as pictures. The MBS plugin comes with functions to read and write Excel files without having Microsoft Excel installed. This uses the libxl library where you need an extra license, but once you have that and you use the XL functions and in your script, you can read and write the XLSX documents in the newer XL-based format as well as the older XLS formatted files. You can work with fonts, formats, sheets, cells, images, you can add new content, you can edit content, and you can, of course, delete content. 
We have functions to batch read and write cells. So if you have a thousand cells and you just want to get the values or the list into FileMaker, you can just read them or write them. This is excellent to post process Excel files exported by FileMaker. If you export a data set in FileMaker, you can post process the file by loading it with the XL functions. For example, change the formatting, change the column titles, and then write back the file to disk. If you get a lot of Excel files to import, you may want to pre-process them with our XL functions and maybe remove the data you don't want to export and then let FileMaker do the import. Or you do the whole import by script by just using our functions to read individual cells and put them in fields in FileMaker. New in the recent plugins is style text, where you can take style text directly from a FileMaker field and put it in a cell in Excel. Or the other way around, where you take a styled text from a cell and pass it to your FileMaker field. We can also work with Word files. So you can load an existing Word file as a template. You can of course take the text and put it in a database so you can search the document based on the text. But you can also replace placeholders with actual values and output this document back to disk to send it to someone to edit it. If you have a table there, we have a nice function to duplicate table rows so you can add as many rows as you need. And if you have form fields defined within Word, you can also get and set them. Next is machine learning. While FileMaker 19 has some built-in functions for machine learning, you may also want to check out the MBS plugin functions, which do a little bit more and are available in older versions of FileMaker. This is for macOS and iOS only. And to use a plugin on iOS, you need, of course, to use the FileMaker iOS SDK or do everything on the server with Perform Script on Server. You can load a model. You can read the description of the model, so you know all the input parameters and output parameters. And you can provide the input in the correct uh, data type. We have several functions there to work with images, text, and numbers. And you can pass in images, for example, to classify the image but you can also use models which output an image. Um, you can, for example, get back a heat map of things detected in the picture. The MBS plugin also has the functions to update a model on the device. So if a classified image is not correct, you could give it the correct tag and then update the model to define that this picture should get this tag. And in the future, new images classified will hopefully have the correct tags. Machine learning is very nice to not just classify images, but also to analyze text to, for example, detect the mood of the person or the language of a text. For pictures, um, there are a couple of nice models available for download. So you can, for example, detect the age, the sex, or the emotion of a face picture. For flowers, you can, for example, detect the type of flower, or for food, also you can classify the type of food you see on the picture. And there are special models to detect nudity or porn pictures. So if you have a feature where the user can upload any picture, you can check what's the picture and maybe hide some pictures for younger people as well as classify those images to give them the right tags so you can search for them. The MAS plugin comes with handy functions to work with the address book, calendar and reminder databases on your Mac or iOS device. So you can access all the data on the device if you get user permissions, of course, and then, for example, import or export data. This is great as it can sync with iCloud, Exchange or Google servers. You can create, edit and delete entries, so you can, for example, 
create a customer in your FileMaker database and then automatically create the contact in your Mac database so it syncs to your iPhone and if the customer calls you see the name there. You can use a standard pickers to display a contact or to select a contact from a list. This can be exported via the cloud to your phones and some companies just create, for example, for the calendar, they create individual calendars on, on the Exchange or Google servers, then subscribe all the calendars to one Mac, which then exports all the new events from the FileMaker database to those calendars, and each, each uh, member of staff in the company just subscribes to his or her calendar, and this way the FileMaker solution can push calendar entries to everyone, so they see them on their local phones. Next is SQL commands within FileMaker. The MBS plugin has functions where you can not just run SQL commands you write yourself, but also let the plugin write them. So we have easy functions to insert, delete or update records, where you just pass in the file name and the table name, the field names and values, and we create the SQL commands for you and pass through the data. And as we preserve the data types, you can also use our insert or update commands to pass in a number, a time, date, or a container value. We can also run queries within the database to get some records and insert them to a different table or to the same table. This copies data very efficiently from one table to another, or duplicate them within the same tables, or may be used to synchronize by doing updates. For example, you can make a query in one database to get all the new records, or the records where the modification date is newer than the last sync, and then have those being inserted or updated to another table in a different file. We can also create records based on text provided, that it's tab or return delimit or with comma delimited text. We also can select data with the SQL command and put the result in memory, so you can access individual fields, and then we can provide you all the field values without converting them to text, so you can actually query containers and use them to fill a new container field. We have a compare table function which allows you to compare the content of two different tables in two different files if you want, like comparing what has been changed between two backups. And the plugin will tell you what fields have been added or removed, what records have been added or removed, and of course within the changed records we can give you exact, exactly information about which fields have been changed. Then we have SQL connections to other databases, and the MBS plugin supports a long list of different databases to connect to, besides using ODBC, which can always be used with various drivers. We can directly connect to a lot of databases and run SQL command there. We have a few handy functions to copy records. So you can make a SQL command on your MySQL database on a web server, get your new orders as a record set, and then have the MBS plugin insert those records directly in your FileMaker database and all with one or two lines in a script. You can also call stored procedures on your SQL servers and do things with passing parameters and getting back as a result. With MBS plugins, you can run schedules. So first you can run a script by name from any open file. You specify the file name and the script name and the parameter and we just call the script for you. You can also use schedules to start a script, execute some SQL command or evaluate an expression like a let statement in some time like in five seconds at a time like every day at three o'clock add a timestamp, like next week at 3 o'clock, or when the user is idle, like you want to commit 
a record or you want to revert the record when the user hasn't done anything for two minutes and went to his lunch break. All those schedules defined can be queried, can be cancelled and you can of course modify them at any time. And we have common examples for user being locked out automatically or to leave a field um, from edit state when the user is idle. Because you'd never want to have a field locked for hours because someone left the database open and left uh, the building. A common example usage for this is to automatically lock out the user after not doing anything for a few minutes or leaving a field on a record so it doesn't stay in edit state and other users get annoyed because the record is locked for a long time. MBS plugin comes with a lot of file functions. So we can do a lot of file operations like copy, move or rename a file. We can create directories or delete files and directories. You can query file information like if you want to know the size of the file, the modification or creation dates and of course any text given by the user. But you can also of course set the date or the text. You can mount and unmount network volumes which can be very handy on a server for example. So you can write a scheduled script which mounts a network volume of your network attached storage. Every night copies a few files to the network volume and then unmounts it. You can query the disk information and for example detect if your disk is running low on space and then send yourself an email. You can check whether a file is in use and do some action depending on whether the file is currently open. For example, the database file is open in FileMaker or it's not open and you can, for example, make a copy of it. If needed, you can monitor a folder for changes and get a script trigger if someone is changing a file there. This is very handy to watch the folder for external stored containers for changes so you can react on someone changing the folder. We have a lot of functions based on graphics magic library to work with images. So you can load images in over 20 formats, convert them to a standard format for your database, like convert all pictures you get to a PNG format. You can scale pictures to make smaller thumbnails. You can rotate them to rectify them if the orientation is not uh, straight up. And you can compose pictures to put a logo on an existing pictures, for example, and you can mirror them. We can draw vector graphics on top of a picture, so you can draw any lines, arrows, rectangles as needed, and put some text on the pictures. You can analyze pictures a little bit by looking for certain pixels having a certain color on a certain row or column, so you can find the offsets of content within a picture. And we have functions for the metadata, so you can read and write uh, EXIF, IPC and XMP data blocks, as well as read the values from the EXIF or IPTC. We can convert existing SVG pictures to bitmap pictures if needed, so you can edit those with the picture functions above. Then the plugin can define hotkeys and trigger scripts based on the key combinations. This is very handy if you want to allow the user to trigger certain scripts with keys on the keyboard like the F keys. And beside running a script, you can of course run an evaluate, which may call other plugin functions to do some actions based on your desire. For the script workspace on macOS, we also provide persistence for the hotkeys. So a hotkey can be defined to do a certain action within the script workspace and help you to write better scripts. Please check out the FM Automate example from Russell Watson, which uses those hotkeys to automate things in the script workspace. 
If you like, you can show notifications with the MBS plugin on macOS, Windows and iOS to inform the user that an operation in the background has finished. The MBS plugin provides a lot of extension functions for the web viewer. For example, we can run JavaScript in the web viewer and with our recently added evaluate function, we can not just run some JavaScript asynchronously or synchronously, we can also run it synchronously and get you back the result right away on Mac, Windows and iOS. So if you need to query a global variable in your JavaScript or query the text of a field, you can do that right away with our plugin. We also have the uh, web view messaging where you can um, trigger scripts directly from JavaScript like in FileMaker 19. We can get you the current HTML or the text from the website. So you get the live HTML and not just the HTML loaded at, uh, when the website loaded, but also all the modifications made by JavaScript over the time. We can query and fill form fields. So if you have to automate some order form, you can do that with our plugin. You can, of course, not just read the text, but also you can look for links and um, get the URLs and those links, or you can get the images shown in the web page. If needed, we can trigger the print of the web page. And on macOS, there's also the possibility to render the web page as a PDF file, or just on Mac and Windows get an image of the web page. So you can store how a web page looks like for later review. Here we have an example where we use a web viewer on the left. So you can draw some signature on it with the mouse or trackpad. And then we can save the picture to a container in your FileMaker solution. And this is using our JavaScript functions. So we can, when the button save is pressed, we can just run a JavaScript to ask for the current picture, get it back and put it in the container. And there is no need for any script triggering here. Beside running JavaScript in a web viewer, we can also run JavaScript without a web viewer. The MBS plugin comes with a built-in JavaScript engine based on the open source duct tape engine. And you can use it to run JavaScript without a web viewer on client and server. So in a scheduled script or a script run with PSO, perform script on server, on the FileMaker server, you can do JavaScript and get back the result. For example, you can evaluate a JavaScript expression. You can define global variables for your JavaScript engine and query them later. And we use that often for data exchange to the JavaScript where we have to pass uh, long text blocks to JavaScript or get them back. You can register functions within the JavaScript, functions written in JavaScript, but also you can register special functions which allow you to trigger a script from JavaScript or to query the your FileMaker database with SQL commands. We have a few handy examples, for example a CSC calculation which runs in JavaScript and we can do that in FileMaker using our JavaScript engine. And there's also an example for the phone number library which we use to format phone numbers internationally, correct, and where we can validate phone numbers and get the type of phone number back using a JavaScript library running in FileMaker without a web viewer. Then we have functions for network sockets and serial ports. So the MBS plugin supports TCP and UDP sockets where you can do connections to various devices in your local network using IP4 or V6. For UDP sockets, we allow you to do broadcasts and multicasts, so you can send a package to several computers and, for example, implement a notification or a chat system. We also provide server sockets 
to accept incoming connections where you can get a script triggered for the incoming connection and then make a new socket to handle the connection and then you can uh, get script triggers for incoming data and you can react on the data. We have serial port functions for using COM ports on your PC or ports based on USB adapters. You can configure the data and stop bits and all the other parameters and then get a script triggered if data is coming in or you have just a script sending out a command making a short pause and then read the result. This can be very handy to connect to scales which either have serial port or TCP socket connectivity where you can send in queries to get the current weight uh, or to reset the weight. Then we have functions for printing. You can list all the printers on your computer and you can control the printing on Mac and Windows. For Mac we have a few special functions so you can for example say you want to print to a PDF file directly or you want to control the page setup or the print dialogs and let the plugin do settings for you. On Windows you can also control the printing and pick a printer, set the paper, tray and a few more parameters. For example you may want to automate printing of invoices, so first page is printed on a nice paper with your company logo on it, the second page is printed on normal paper and the last page is printed on a special paper with a pre-printed payment slip on the bottom, so you can fold the paper and send it directly as a letter to your customer. Then we have audio and video playback features for macOS and Windows which are independent of what FileMaker provides in an interactive container. So on Mac we can use AV Player functions and Windows Media Foundation Player on Windows. You can position a video on the layout using an existing layout element like a Rectangle. You can load audio or video files and play them within your layout. And this playback is independent of FileMaker, so you can switch records and we don't reload the video. This is also great to play some alert sounds or to offer the playback of some music in the background. You can of course change volumes and uh, the playback rate. You can get a script trigger if the file is finished, so you can load the next one. And for videos you can query the current picture. So for example you can create thumbnails of a video file. MBS plugin can scan documents with both flatbed or document feeders. We have three ways to do that. One is image capture functions for macOS. Then we have the Windows image acquisition functions for Windows and for older scanners using the train interface we also have that for Mac and Windows. Usually if you have a scanner and you can scan in the paint application on Windows or using the image capture application on Mac, the scanner will also work with our plugin using the same functions internally as those applications. You can scan with and without a dialog, which allows you to set the settings by script and then uh, scan without a dialog. So you can automate your scanning, you can use our OCR functions to recognize text in the scanned documents and of course you can also enable auto feeder so you can batch import a stack of papers. The MES plugin can show contextual menus on macOS and Windows. Those include submenus, various styles, icons, different colors. You can build the menu on the fly in a script or use a pre-made one as a XML or text definition. And you can use our event monitor functions to detect whether the last click on a button was a left mouse click or a right mouse click. This way you can decide whether you take the default action or show a context menu. But actually you can show a context menu at any time, so you can use it in any script running to just show a context menu at a certain position on the screen or where the mouse is currently. Next we have a lot of functions for XML and JSON. 
While there are a few functions for JSON in FileMaker built-in, there is no XML function built into FileMaker, and you can do a lot of with those functions in the MBS plugin. Especially, you can pass XML or JSON once, store it in memory, get back a reference number, and then query the JSON or XML data using this reference number often. This increases the performance a lot. You can get and set values based on pass, so you can have the plugin look for certain nodes based on their name or index, and then find subnodes and finally the value. You can format, colorize, and add line numbers if needed, as you see on the right on our sl slide here, with the colorized JSON. But this also works for XML. We have our automatic import to take an XML or JSON file, create tables and fields for you, and then import the values, which can be very handy if you don't want to write an XML transformation to do the XML import in FileMaker directly. And if you have a file, just try it. This is magical. If you need to provide valid XML to other parties, you may want to get an XML schema and then use our validation functions to make sure your XML is valid. We also have XPath queries to run commands within XML documents to find nodes and return the values. Then we have shell functions to run command line tools within FileMaker on client or server. You can set parameters and pass an environment variables. You can also send input text to a command line tool, which expects some input. And of course, you can read all the output from the command line tool. And you can distinguish between the normal output channel and the error output. We have triggers, so you can be notified when there is new output coming and if the tool is finished with its work, so you can run tools asynchronously in the background. If needed, you can force quit the process for this background application, and we have run this for various clients with tools like FFmpeg to transcode, transcode videos in the background, to zip big folder hierarchies in the background, to just run a ping command, some Python script, set some settings on macOS with the defaults application, or even run the FMS admin application on the server. The special thing is that you can run things asynchronously in the background, so you can transcode several videos in FileMaker without blocking the user interface, and your user can continue to work, and you can, by script, monitor the results. If you want to use the FileMaker iOS SDK, we provide a lot of functions for you. A few functions especially for iOS, but we also support over 4,000 of our regular functions. You can use them all on iOS, and we have some special functions like here the store kit, where you can offer in-app purchases if your iOS app is in the store, or you can offer to compose an SMS message or an email. We provide drag and drop features for macOS and Windows, where you can define a drop area on your layout, and then you can ask the user to drop files there. You get a script triggered, and then you can look what files you got by the file pass, and also for Windows, you can get files on demand, like the attachments of an Outlook email. So here we drag a picture from the desktop, and here we drag an attachment from an email on our panel, and you see we get the file directly in FileMaker. Next, we can do barcodes on the MBS plugin. We support the creation of 80 different barcode types, and here we show 30 barcode types for you. So if you need any one of those within um, FileMaker, you can create them by script right in your solution.
We also can detect a couple of barcodes. So if you get a scan where there is a QR code on the edge of the paper, you can crop this area and then have the plugin detect the QR code for you. The MBS plugin supports the use of Apple Maps. Apple provides a framework for macOS and iOS, which you can use within your application free of charge. You can show 3D and 2D maps with satellite or normal maps. And you can find locations and put your pins on it, so you can exactly show your customer where on the map some things are, like showing all your customers on a map. You can customize the pins as well as add routes to the map so you can show a way where your driver should go. And you can get back a JSON with the waypoints if you plan a route so you can actually use the data and store it in FileMaker. Apple provides the vision framework, which includes some machine learning things to do common operations like classifying images, recognizing text, finding barcodes, and you can use them without providing a model by using the model coming with macOS or iOS. The MBS plugin has many more features, too many to list them all here in the presentation. We also have regular expressions, which can be very handy to find text in, in a bigger block of text based on a given pattern. We have a lot of list functions, so if you work with lists in FileMaker and you need some plugin help, you can use them. We have functions to work on audio text. We have functions to work with EXIF and IPTC metadata. And if you got an iPhone which produces this high definition image files, you can convert them to PNG with our plugin. We have shared memory functions which allow you to store value in memory, then quit FileMaker and later start FileMaker again and the value is still there. And you can use mutex functions to synchronize the access of files or shared memory. And if you need, you can use plugin functions to position windows and to position the dialogues FileMaker may show, so you can make sure that any dialog popping up shows exactly where you want it. Our MBS plugin provides for macOS a rule-based calculation and script coloring, where we can highlight you the syntax of a script and show you mistakes directly in the colors. We provide cont contextual menus for quick access to some functions. We can highlight the blocks for loops and if then else. We provide a search for the relationship graph. We also provide a search within a script and a go to line box where you can jump to the line number directly. We can show script IDs, layout IDs, field IDs and table IDs in the user interface. So you can know the IDs and Trigger scripts, for example, by the plugin with ID. We remember the column width for you, so you don't need to resize the tables or the field lists uh, when you open them each time. We can also now provide custom fonts, so you can decide which font to use for calculation or for the script workspace. Here's a picture where we show you the zoom feature. So you can zoom within a script, which is very handy for a presentation like this one. We can search within a calculation and even do a replace. So if you want to search and replace something within your custom function definition, you can do that. We can also search a lot of lists in the FileMaker user interface and highlight you where things are based on a name. So if you know there is a layout for printing, but you don't know what, where it is in a long list of layouts, you can just search for print and we will jump you to the different font layouts. You can define a custom function like here JetBrains Mono in, for your calculations and for your script workspace. We also allow you to set a um, minimum font size or pick a font size for the script workspace. 
and the plugin tries as good as possible to use the fonts in the script workspace and the calculations. Now, if you like to try the plugin, we encourage you to download a copy today on the website. You can browse our extensive documentation where we have pages for every function. We also have a blog where we talk about new features added to the plugin, events related to FileMaker and also new versions. And we have a videos website where we publish this video and others. And you may want to sign up for newsletter or for trial license on our website. Thank you for watching and see you soon on the next FileMaker or Claris conference.